Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Sunken Land. We're going to start by optimizing Windows and after that we will go inside of the game. So now the best setting for Windows for gaming. So first of all, we're going to search for game mode in the search bar. Make sure that game mode is activated for the past like year. It's pretty good. Uh, you're getting a decent performance and you're going to make sure that all your resources are focused on the game that you're playing. For the Xbox game bar, I still recommend to deactivate this one, causing stuttering, crashing in some games. So I'm not a huge fan of the Xbox game bar. And for the capture, make sure that the background recording is at off and also the, record, uh, the recorded audio is at off. Another thing that I recommend, it's the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Make sure that you're searching for graphic setting. You will need an NVIDIA card, 1000 series or more recent. It will really help with bottleneck. So if you have a 1050, 1050 Ti, 1060, even the 2060, you can expect a nice 2 to 5% boost. And also you can expect like less stuttering when you're using that. So I re really recommend to use that. Another thing that is really important, it's your driver. Make sure that you have the latest driver from AMD, NVIDIA, even Intel, if you have an iGPU on your processor. Um, so for example, here with AMD, you just click check for update and it's gonna show you if you have the latest one. You can do the same thing with NVIDIA. Another thing that I can recommend with the um, NVIDIA and AMD, they have uh, an image scaling uh, for the past like a couple of months. Um, for from AMD, it's called Super Resolution, and for Nvidia, it's NIS. I have dedicated video to, who's gonna like show you how to use that and how to configure it. But to explain you quickly what it's about, uh, so you need to enable this. So for example, I'm playing uh, in 2K because my monitor in, is in 2K. I'm going inside of my game. I lower the resolution at 1080p, and the software will scale it back at 2K. And with this process, I can save like 15, 20% in my FPS. Also, you can do it if you have like a 4K monitor and you want to do 1080p or 2K. Uh, you can expect a nice boost. The image quality will not be the same if you compare with native, but in some game it's working very well and you it's very tough to see the difference. So I, I recommend to, to use it if you're struggling with your FPS. So if you have an NVIDIA card, just go on your NVIDIA setting, go to control panel, open it, go to manage 3D setting and just use pretty much the setting that I'm currently using. Honestly, they're pretty much default. So the first one that you need to change is your low latency mode. If you have this technology, make sure that it's at on. The other one is your if you want to lock your FPS. Uh, for an example, you have like a 170 Hertz monitor and you want to stay in your G-Sync ring. Uh, range sorry you just put your uh, FPS here at like something like 167 something like that you want to be under 170 Hertz to always stay in your G-Sync range so if you want to do that it will do that for all your game it's a global setting over there so I'm gonna unlock it and this is pretty much it if you have access to the change ECC state I recommend to uncheck it this will slow your VRAM so you don't want to use that for change resolution, make sure that you're playing native. So your if you have a 2K monitor, go with 2K. If you have a 1080p monitor, go with 1080p. And super important, look at your refresh rate. A lot of people are missing this step. They buy like a new screen and by default it's at 60. So use the uh, maximum refresh rate that is available on your uh, monitor. The last parameter will be your G-Sync. So I recommend if you want to use G-Sync, I recommend to, first of all, you need to enable it. And I recommend to use the enable for window and full screen. So if you're playing a game like in borderless mode, it will be applied. Also, you can select just one uh, display screen, depending on whatever. If, if your second screen is not compatible with G-Sync, you will just push it to one monitor. Uh, me, I'm not using it. I have a 4090 uh, for my GPU, so I just want to unlock my FPS. So in majority of the game, I'm getting like 250 FPS and um, my monitor refresh rate is at 170 Hertz. So I just want to lower my input lag. So that's why I just unlock everything, but it really depends on your situation. So this is pretty much it for NVIDIA. Another thing that I recommend, it's your energy profile. So write energy in your search bar, go to power option. Make sure that you're running something like balance or high performance. Um, on a de desktop computer, it should not be an issue. But if you're playing on a laptop, 
really make sure that you're using that or a special profile for performance uh, from your brand like Asus, Dell or whatever. The thing is sometimes when you plug your uh, PC in the wall, unplug using it with the battery, sometimes it stay at power saver and you don't want to use that when you're playing a game. So super important to be plugged in and also uh, to use a proper uh, performance profile. Another thing that I can recommend, it's the Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. This is a software made by the guy from DDU. Um, it's, it's pretty amazing, honestly. Um, it will help if you don't have a lot of RAM in your PC. So if you have 4 gig of RAM, 8 gig, 12 gig, uh, after that, you should be fine. Windows is doing the job properly. So it will free memory and it's going to make sure that it optimize your standby list. So what I recommend normally, it's look at your total memory here. In my case, it's 32. Just divide it by 2. So for me, it's 16. Just press start and it will run automatically. And you just lower the software like that and you're going to make sure it's optimized so it's a really good software and also it helps a little bit with uh, stuttering so i really recommend to use that one last thing is um i have dedicated video on my channel about overclocking cpu overclocking gpu depending on your brand and stuff and it's pretty good because it there are basic overclocking guide i don't touch voltage so it's pretty safe you can expect sometimes two percent ten percent boost in your fps depending on your thermal depending on your component but it's it's something that you need to look at too if you want to optimize your pc um, for the best performance so now let's go inside of the game so now in the graphics setting first of all resolution make sure that you're playing your native resolution from your monitor in my case it's 1440p but also make sure that you have the proper amount of hertz uh in my case by default it was 60 but my monitor is compatible at 240 so super important to look at this after that for the full screen mode i really recommend just play exclusive full screen so uh, all the other mode is causing stuttering i'm not recommending it and for the V-Sync, I'd always remove my V-Sync. I don't like the input lag that V-Sync provides. But honestly, you're not playing Valorant or Counter-Strike. So it's question of preference. If you don't like those steering, just activate your V-Sync. Or also, you can use other technology like G-Sync and FreeSync if your monitor is compatible. For the preset, the first one is Shadow Resolution. This one, you have four brackets. I don't recommend to go IS or I. At mid, you will save 6% of your FPS, and if you go at low, you will save 9%. So I recommend to go at mid. You want a decent image quality, but you also want to save some FPS. After that, shadow quality, you can play all hard or disable them. If you disable the shadow quality, you will see that you have a big boost in your FPS, like 10%. But the game looks very flat, so my recommendation is go with hard shadow if you can run them. And the last one is Shadow Distance. This one tank your FPS like crazy. So I recommend to start at 40. Look at the amount of FPS that you have. If you have a proper amount, you can definitely go higher. Just do some testing. You have a slider like this and it's working very well. The last parameter is your texture quality. Uh, this game doesn't take a lot of VRAM, honestly, on your video card. So at IS, you can, uh, if you have 4 gig of VRAM and more, you can play at IS. 3 gig of VRAM on your GPU, uh, you can go at I. 2 gig at medium, and less than 2 gig, I recommend to go with low. So this is pretty much it, guys, for the parameter in Sunken Land. You don't have a lot of options right now. I'm pretty sure they're going to add more. Um, it's a good thing that you have a lot of parameter in your sh for the shadow, because normally shadow is always the parameter that pr will provide you the most of your FPS. So right now, you can change them. So that's a good thing. If you have any question about this guy, just come in the YouTube section, post me your rigs, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace!